They they are looking earnestly at two sites in Valdosta. To my knowledge, they are not looking at another site in Georgia. I asked that question today, and you can imagine I was not given an answer. Uh, I do believe that they're looking at one other state. But working with the company and working with the site selection consultant, I believe we're in the, we're in the primary position. Alan, let's go back and talk a little about the work with the chamber in terms of forging a stronger partnership. We got that language several times. What are we doing specifically to enhance that partnership? What, what we have done is we started this dialogue about uh, six months ago mm -hmm. with the chamber, maybe even a little longer than that. What we have done to date is we have brought on board our synchronous tool, and this is a tool that we'll use for tracking our existing industry visits, identifying issues, uh, identifying opportunities. So that, we brought that tool on board and we've done the initial training for our staff, us here in the authority. We're also training chamber staff on that. So they're in that process. We have then taken the archive data that we had on our existing industry, and the archive data that the chamber had on existing industries and businesses, and we've loaded that into the synchronous system. So that's the first concrete specific that we've done. We then took a look at our existing industry schedule and we have reworked <coughs> that schedule. And now we are bringing uh, chamber folk into our existing industry visits with us. The final part of that is bringing in the other key economic factors <coughs> like the small business development folks at VSU, George Power, EMC, Cockwood EMC, uh, Wiregrass Georgia Tech, so that they now become key players in those existing industry visits. Um, so that is has specifically been done. We've also, to the point that we'll, we'll have some conversations later this week with the chamber leadership about the mission and about the role, because we'll have some specific language for that and the structure that we will use to, you know, to pull this process together. Uh, and that has that is coming along nicely with the discussions that we've had. And we are then planning a community event where we would showcase this partnership and and bring under the aegis of the chamber and the authority those key economic development players that participate and introduce those in a more direct sense to our existing industry. So we're planning for that in the November, late November timeframe, and all of the key economic development partners are on board and very excited about doing that. One of the things that we want to make sure we do, and, and we've looked at previous programs that the Chamber's hosted, like ballet, and we wanted to take the good parts of that, and then we wanted to see where we could make some improvements, and, and we're certainly doing that. I think that's a significant improvement, integrating the other key players, particularly those who can provide technical expertise to existing industry. I like that. That's, that's a job well done. Thank you. And, and we're going to have a... We're going to have a first rehearsal with that on Thursday with Leadership Lounge, mm -hmm. which I'll talk to you about in just a minute. All those folks are coming together for the initial pitch to this Leadership Lounge class on, here I am, this is my organization, and this is what we do for economic development in the community. Thank you. 